Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and in this video I want to talk about um, relationships and it's the beautiful like 7 a.m. morning in Ireland. I'm walking to Cliff Walk having caught the sun up a little bit. So in this video I want to mention how many of us are like wanting or craving to be in a relationship but the most important thing before you enter a good relationship, a very good relationship, a brilliant relationship, is to be able to be happy on your own. So you don't need somebody, because when you need somebody, because you're, you're still wounded and nervous or insecure on your own, fearful, afraid, or desperate because of traumatic experiences in the past, then when you need somebody so badly like that, you're gonna control them or manipulate them or lie to them or deceive them especially if you're a man but even if you're a woman too because you need your partner so badly you're, you definitely don't want them to leave okay so that leads to a terrible relationship all sorts of crap stuff so now moving on to the next point <laughs> um, we all have a lot of we all have lessons to learn and healing to do before we get to the readiness to allow in from the universe, this magical, divine, holy, synchronistic universe, before we allow in the next partner that's perfect or better. Or so when you have freedom in your heart and when you're in a really good place and you're living in a state of detachment and self-happiness and self-sufficiency and you don't need other people as badly as you did when you were wounded and traumatized and heavily attached. That's when you're able to be happy for other people's happiness. And that's when you're, you're, you're not like, you don't, you're not clinging or needing other people to be in a relationship with you. That's when, if, some, if you love, if you fancy someone or you're attracted to someone, or let's say you're open to being in a relationship with somebody, or let's say you, you even definitely want to be in a relationship with someone, you think you want to, you're sure of it, you know? Even if they don't want to, everybody, if they're not interested enough, if they're not open, they're not, if they're not ready, if they're not available, if they're, um, if they're in a different country or they're already in a relationship at the moment. If you're in this good place that I talk about, then you're still happy and what you can do is you actually wish them happiness and well in their relationship, if they're in a relationship, if they're, if they're, if they're, or if they're interested in somebody else. Like, or if they're just simply unavailable, or not free, or whatever the case may be. It doesn't really matter. The point is, when you get your own connection with yourself, when you work on your own healing, and your own well-being and happiness and joy in life, and your own physical health, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, you're not like so dependent and reliant on another human being. Especially another like um, person who you of like of like the opposite sex or even the same sex. If you you know you're not you're not as dependent or reliant on this another person for your happiness. Because what we see in the world, everybody is we we have a crush. We fancy somebody. We love somebody, and they become the object of our attention, and we just can't stop thinking about them. Because, to be, to be honest, because there's nothing better else to do. It's crazy. It's like a drug. They become our heroine. Our hero. <laughs> our heroine. You know? And such a beautiful place I am here in Ireland. Look at that. So gorgeous. Beautiful. I love it. So, like, look, right now I'm out here in nature. Seven in the morning. Maybe twenty past seven now. Catching sunrise on the beach, doing a cliff walk, and I have things to do in life. But when our heart is still wounded from the past and childhood, we we look for comforting and fulfilment or wholeness from another person. So I've been there 100 percent I know what that's like completely. Like I've totally been there. You become addicted to another person. You become attached to needy and clinging, at least I did in the past. And a lot of it was subconscious. It wasn't like a very... I, was, I had fear in my heart of being single and I didn't really know that too well. But, but um, then you're even also afraid to leave a bad relationship because you're stuck in a habit. You're stuck in a rut. 
you're stuck in a comfort zone. You're stuck in a sense of security. You're stuck in the place that's comfortable and known to you and familiar. It's a, it's a, it's a very familiar uncomfortableness. It's not, not nice, not good. It's not the best for our growth. We don't learn, you know, if we're gonna keep staying in those type of relationships, the best thing we can probably learn, like the, probably and generally, is we've had enough and we should leave. There comes a certain point where we linger around and um, bad things for too long. And that includes bad people, like bad things, bad people, bad situations, bad places, unhealthy environments. So, um, ah, so nice. So everyone, that's the only reason I wanted to make that vi this video. Um, I want us all to learn to be in a place where we actually can be happy and celebrate someone else's freedom and to be happy that they have a choice and a chance to have an experience in life. And if that means having an experience with another human being, romantically, sexually, just simply experientially, going for a walk in the park or a drive with them, to have lunch with them, to sleep at night time in bed with them, to make dinner or go shopping with them, whatever the case may be. Be happy for other people, everybody. Don't try and cling and grab onto and control or hold onto somebody ever. Be graceful. We have to learn to be graceful. There's so many lessons to learn in life. If you try and hold onto somebody and cage somebody or something, that's not love at all. That's like addiction and controlling. If we can learn, and I have been learning and I've learned so much about to do this and how to do this and I feel in the, the, the best place of my life. I feel great. I feel, under, I feel everything I'm saying in this video is how I'm feeling and what I've been learning and what I'm doing. How I am feeling and what I'm, I am embodying energetically and practically, physically, daily. It's just really good. I have such like tremendously good mental peace and well-being. I have tremendous emotional well-being also. It's like it's been a really tough road, but like it's been a, it's been a road that got me here. And your road is being perfectly designed and formulated by your higher self, so to speak, or by the universe, for you to get where you need to be right now. And there's more to come. There's so much more beautiful and amazing, exciting, fun, happy, loving things coming into your life. But. To let them in quicker, you have to let go of the resistance for what is and what was in your past. To come to a place of seeing it was all perfect and meant to be for you, and to even reach a place of gratitude and thanksgiving for every single person who's come into your life ever, including all of those people who've hurt, who've hurt you or, or perpetrated upon you. And to forgive yourself for anything that you, anyone you've hurt or any of your so-called mistakes, because we all learn from our mistakes. There's nothing a mistake. I've done a billion mistakes, but they're not, they're not even mistakes, you know. Mistake is the wrong word, but we just use that word just for the sense of that's what we're used to using. That's just so you know what I mean, you know. So, to reach a place of openness and receptivity and gratitude and excitement for what's coming. Even gratitude and excitement and thanksgiving for what's coming your way. Because there's so many things that's amazing around the corner for you. Really, 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 really good things, everybody. It's such beautiful stuff. But to allow in the beautiful stuff even faster and better and more, we also we have to be grateful for our existing stuff. Because what's the point if, <laughs> even in the future, if you're not ex when you get the good stuff more, if you're still not grateful for that stuff, what's the point? You, you're just never living in a state of gratitude or happiness or thanksgiving anyway. So be grateful and thanksgiving now. And you will receive more. <laughs> but not only be grateful for the past and the present, be grateful and excited for the future. But don't let your happiness be dependent on everything coming or staying in your life. Be, just, be grateful for, for, just be grateful for what's here at the moment, okay? And be grateful and loving and thanksgiving in a deep way for everything that was and is. And don't be attached to anything that may or may not come at any particular time. So be open to any particular way also, you know? Because the universe knows, your higher self or the universe knows deeply what you want, deep in your heart. 
your, your conscious mind is excellent. Your mind is amazing, but it's also limited to a degree now, I have to say. So, live in a state of wonder and awe of the magic and the depth of the universe. That it knows what you want so much more deeply. And it has surprises wrapped up and rolled up for you in its sleeve, waiting to spring it upon you when you least expect it, everybody. When you least expect it. But the trick and the secret is to be grateful for right now, today. Be grateful for everything. Look at all that. Look at all that shit, everybody. <laughs> it's so beautiful, eh? It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's where I'm walking. So you can go on a walk today and be grateful for your legs, arms. And be grateful and extend love to your exes as well, because I want to talk about relationships a bit in this video also. <sighs> Breathe and be glad for the sound of silence. There's the sun over there behind the clouds. Be grateful for nature. Be grateful for the air and breathing. Two of my favorite things lately are air and silence. Two very beautiful, subtle things that we don't usually notice. Imagine that. Very subtle, yet beautiful stuff. Very beautiful. The gift of the breath. We're, we're like, we're living in like an ocean of air, a sea of liquid gold, liquid air. It's beautiful. It has a density, you know. So in my life, I have learned to make peace with my past and to make love with my past. Seriously, I love my past. And to make love and peace and love and joy in my heart towards everybody who's ever hurt me even. And especially my family and ex-girlfriends who played a very deep and significant role in my life. Really loved them so much from the bottom of my heart. And that includes the various hurts, losses and pains that I've experienced in relation to family and, and ex, ex loved ones and partners, you know. So, another thing I've also learned to do is, and to feel deep within me, deeply energetically, is also to have so much like, so much loving, positive good wishes for them, you know. Even if I'm not in contact with them anymore, even if they don't want to be in contact with me, even if even if with one of them there's a bit of a funny feelings going on, like on, on, on her behalf, and there's a bit of a complication. I'm just so happy for her to be happy. I want her to be happy deeply. I pray for all of my close ones, including this, these people, this person. And I just want them to be happy in their, their relationship and their life. I want them to have peace, love, gratitude, joy. I want them to have wellness. I want them to have fun. I want them to have a happy, a happy life and a happy, even a happy sexual life, you know, even though they're not sexual with me anymore. I want them to be, have snuggles and cuddles and intimacy that's enriching to them and their, their being. So this is what I feel towards the person who the most trouble with in life. Love her to bits. She doesn't know that though. She watched this, she probably wouldn't believe it and wouldn't sink in probably, but who knows, maybe it would. She's, she's a kick-ass person. She's a beautiful person. Amazing soul. Love her and respect her. Sometimes we go through little hardships in life and things are difficult and we lose, we lose our full-on clarity and heart-centeredness. So it's always important to have love and compassion for everybody, including those who are hurting and including those who are acting troublesome or challenging in our life. And just to like, you know, we, we, we aren't perfect either, so just to have love and compassion for everybody. Everybody makes mistakes, you know. Shit, that is such a beautiful view. Oh my God, so gorgeous. Oh my God. So delicious. Just walking up a little hill. So this is Bray, 
County Wicklow, Ireland. This is the sunning up. This is the first sun I've seen all day because it's been a bit cloudy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, it's just like... <sighs> I don't know what to say. Let's do it this way. That's like delightful. So everyone, I hope you get the gist of this video, how important it is to heal our hearts and to be free and to be happy ourselves. Don't pin our happiness on other people, everyone. That's the, the, that's the disaster at humans at this archaeological, archaic time. This is like a crazy planet, everyone. Everything about it. <laughs> we learn all the craziest stuff ever. And we learn to be emotionally subdued, limited people, beings. And one of the things is how we don't know how to be at peace and happy. We don't learn the mental and emotional health and well-being. This video is a bit of a kick, a bright kick-ass video. To help you to have more well-being mentally, emotionally. <laughs> we need to learn how to be happy ourselves without putting that responsibility or pressure on anyone else to fulfill us or to make us feel well or safe or comfortable. We need to learn how to be comfortable in our own skin. And I'll just tell you quickly now, one of the essential components for that is to know this, first of all, to know this, that we, it's not us, it's our job, not anyone else's job. I don't, anyone can cancel me if they want. Anyone can change their, their mind if they want. Anyone can leave a relationship with me if they want. Anyone can stop being their friend with me if they want. Anyone can change an appointment with me if they want. I don't care. Like, I do care, but I don't care. They can if they want. I'm not gonna let it make me sad or like unhappy or ruin my day. Whatever. I'm gonna get on with my own life. So there you go, bang. That's rule number one almost. Bean. The, the, the another way to be responsible for your own happiness and to be very happy is to look after yourself, body, mind, spirit, physically, mentally, emotionally, dietarily, rest, sleep, exercise, nature, essential oils, baths, showers, swimming, dancing. Do your do the stuff that you find fun, happiness, happy, and joyful. Do your creativity. Create and express yourself into the world. Like show yourself who are you, what are you interested in? What do you like to do? What do you like to say, do, create, make, etc. So, moving on to the next point. Um, emotional, how to be emotionally well. How to be emotionally well, okay. Oh my God, this is, ooh, ooh la la. Sheesh, this is like such a beautiful scene. We need to be able to allow all of ourselves. So if we feel pissed off and angry and resentful and regretful or angry at somebody or ourselves, we don't, we don't say, I don't feel this way. We have to say, yeah, I do feel this way. I feel fucking pissed off. I feel angry. I feel upset. So it's, it's a holistic integration of who we are in every single way, in every single moment. We never deny ourselves or suppress or repress our emotions. So part of emotional well-being is to allow yourself to feel emotions and to let those emotions be felt in our bodies and physically like let out. Crying is a typical very good way or else just sitting with our emotions. What humans usually do is we, 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 we do stuff to suppress and re repress and distract ourselves from our, our real emotions. We deny our real emotions. We tell a story that we don't really feel this way. We think and believe that it's not okay to feel a certain way because society and people tell us it's not okay to feel angry. It's not okay to feel this way. It's not okay to feel jealous. It's bad to feel jealous. It's bad to feel envious. You no, know, we need to like learn that it's okay to feel every single emotion and allow ourselves lovingly and compassionately our human, delicate, tender, gent side to feel all these feelings and to allow them to be there, to allow them to be felt emotionally, physically, energetically, and if the if 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 wishing to express and share these things with someone who we can trust, who actually can listen and understand us compassionately, without judging us, criticizing us, condemning us, 
or putting us down or acting like we're a bad person because every human being is the exact same thing. It's all part and parcel of the human experience. So we have a spiritual higher self side and then we have this delicate, tender, gentle, like little baby, little child, like oh, who grew up in this world, who didn't know about emotions and stuff, and we've learned all the wrong stuff. So we have to be gentle, nursing ourselves back to clarity and wisdom, and and healing and health and wholeness, allowing integration of all parts of us, the dark side and the good side. Hi everyone. I hope all the things mentioned in this video have helped you. Um, I hope it allows you to feel really good towards people in your life, past and present, from a loving, compassionate way, and from a space where you also have a sense of freedom, happiness, love, and detachment towards anyone who may have been a romantic or sexual partner in the past, for anyone who's ever hurt you or broken your heart, so to speak that you've allowed un unknowingly, innocently to break your heart, which was perfect at the time. And to have love and best wishes for anyone in your, in your life right now, or who isn't in your life, who may not want you or may have rejected or abandoned you, that you feel love, compassion, gentleness, warmth, and best wishes for them in their life, that they may be happy, at peace, well, prosper and thrive and be healthy in every single way possible in their life and before we can be in a place of emptiness or facilitatedness readiness ableness to actually extend all of these positive wishes for people everyone we have to go through generally a phase of feeling the hurt pain and anger and upset and disappointment or heartbreak whatever these so-called negative which they're not negative Whatever these emotions are, they need to be felt and let out, cried. Sometimes people like, you know, punch a pillow, tremble, shake, curse. Feel a lot of upset and pissed offness, you know, first. And that's part of the energetic movement and release from our system. And that's okay. And I've done this, by the way, too. So I'm speaking from experience. There's a beautiful coastline there going towards Greystones. Let me see if we can take a picture. <coughs> nice, eh? I know, just so beautiful. Like, there's so much nice things in life, everyone, apart from, like, making these, like, sort of serious videos, you know? We just have to mix it all in together, you know? It's all, like, it's all a big mixture of a whole lot of stuff. So everyone, I hope this video has helped you. I send you loads of love. Best wishes and I hope you have a nice week and look forward to seeing you again in more videos. And take care. Bye now. And I also just want to say that you're doing amazing in life. You're doing really good. You have a whole team of angels and guides on your side. And human helpers. And uh, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to pass. All the challenges will pass. You're going to reach a much better state in your life probably either very soon or sometime relatively soon in your future. You're going to look back on the hardships and you're going to be in such a better place, everyone. That's the nature of life progression, especially if you're watching this video and you have this opportunity for spiritual and conscious awareness. So just be grateful and glad. Be gentle where you are. Don't worry. Don't, be, don't put any pressure on yourself. Don't be in a, putting any rush or stress on yourself. Just relax. Ease up and allow yourself just to enjoy the journey one step at a time. Gently patiently and compassionately on yourself, lovingly on yourself and other people. Let, let the pressure off other people to grow, heal or to be different also. It's okay. One moment at a time. I was looking at the beach down there. It was like touching for me too, you know. Being there. Still learning myself. <laughs> I'm on your side, so befriend me on Facebook, message me, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, um, Twitter, YouTube, and um, for any like group, family, relationship or one-to-one -one work and consultations with me, I'd love to do that, it's my passion, my purpose, my calling, my joy. and. Uh, have a lovely day and get out there in nature. Move your body and get enough rest and sleep. 
Lots of love and have loads of fun and laughter, especially fun, fun, fun. See you everyone. Have the best day ever. Loads of love to you. Love you. Hugs. <laughs> Hugs. Woo! 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 Wee! <laughs> Wee! Ah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs>